morning, everyone. We are ready to begin our annual Veterans Day program. There are empty seats throughout the auditorium, so if you're in the back standing, please come find a seat. We still have a few interspersed up here. Um, over here, we have some. So teachers that are standing, please feel free to come find a seat. Any guests or students? At this time, please silence all cell phones so the assembly is not disturbed, and we will begin. Students, the purpose for us to gather today is to honor our veterans and our military members who, for their dedication to our nation and their willingness to fight for our freedom. This is a serious assembly, so your behavior should be its very best. Veterans, military members, Spouses and guests, on behalf of all of us at St. Genevieve Elementary, students, staff, and administration, we thank you for coming today. It's truly an honor to spend this time with you. At this time, please stand and remain silent for the presentation of the colors by the VFW Post 2210 Color Guard. Then remain standing for the singing of the National Anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night o'er the So gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star span. Students on the stage, please stand. These students on the stage are the winners of the VFW Ladies Auxiliary Art and Writing Contest. They will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Thank you. You may be seated. Damn. 
We will now recognize the veterans and military members in attendance today. Students and military guests, please stand when you hear your names announced. We're trying a new, a new way to do it this year. The students were able to sit with their special guests. So you'll see them stand wherever they're seated and present their special guest with a flag and a poem. John App, grandfather of Mariah and Anthony App, peacetime service. John Allen, uncle of Bradley Allen, Gulf War and peacetime service. Sean Baker, father of Noah Baker, and uncle to Ruthie and Mikey Dunn, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Michael Bosler, cousin to Mrs. Wilson, Caleb and Addison Wilson served in Afghanistan and the war in Iraq. Virgil Boyer, grandfather of Kaylin, Ethan, Lydia, Abby, and Justin Boyer, Vietnam. Don Buat, served in Vietnam. John Buat, Vietnam. James Karen, great-grandfather of Alaya Davis, served in the Navy. James Karen, grandfather of Aubrey Pickard, Korea. William Cornell, stepfather of Cameron Beckett, Kiani, and Brooklyn Johnson, war in Iraq. Adam DeClue, father of Rayleigh Palmer, Debbie Dunsey, grandmother of Jeremy Dunsey Jr., Vietnam. Darwin Evelsizer, grandfather of Dane Evelsizer, Vietnam. William Geck, father of Clayton Geck, father-in-law of Nanya Geck, and grandfather of Autumn and Trenton Werner. Daniel Giesler, grandfather of Riley and Caitlin Mole. Dennis Grass Sr., grandfather to Molly Grass, Vietnam. Larry Gray, grandfather of Caitlin, Corbin, and Kirsten Gray, Vietnam. Roger Heil, grandfather of Maya Klein, Vietnam. Troy Hobbs, father of Cameron Hobbs, Gulf War, peacetime. Joseph P. Jokerst, grandfather of Dalton and Michaela Bowen, Vietnam. Jonas Jokerst, grandfather of Emma Jokerst, peacetime service. Paul Jokerst, Vietnam. Vernon Kist, father of Joyce Jokers, peacetime. James Kramer, great grandfather of Ava and Corey Ram, peacetime. Bill Kreitler, Korea. Phil Kwan, friend of Sarah Bone. Ron Lewis, father of Aiden and Ashton Lewis, and uncle of Abby Stomberg. Royce McDonald, grandfather of Nathaniel and Keegan Womack. Leon Meyer, Vietnam. Roger Odom, grandfather of Owen Armstrong, Vietnam. Michael Adi, grandfather of Mariah and Anthony App, Vietnam. Ronald Parker, uncle to Mrs. Renee Yamnitz, great uncle to Chase Yamnitz. Dale T. Probst, grandfather of Kyra, Rhea, and Broden Kreitler, Vietnam. 
Linda Riney, grandmother of Isaiah Bosler, Vietnam and peacetime. Brian Robinson, grandfather of Ava and Corey Ram, peacetime. John Roth, uncle of Ian Rusler, Operation Iraq Freedom. Dwayne Rutler, father of Landon Rutler and grandfather of Alea Davis. Scott Schomburg, stepfather of Jaden Minor, uncle of Trey and Kyle Morgan, war in Iraq. Tom Schweigert, grandfather of Jacob and Justin Schweigert, and Mabry Jokerst. Lloyd Schweigert, uncle of Mrs. Tiffany Wolk, Vietnam. William Smith, great-grandfather of Eli and Adriana Bennett, Korean. Norman Stupy, Korean War. Aaron Tenyas, uncle of Lila and Mason Nix, war in Iraq. Clarence Uding, great-grandfather of Brooklyn Giesler, World War II. Mike Volker, grandfather of Sierra Volker. Larry Vo, grandfather of Avery and Eric Dippel, Vietnam. Chris Walls, father of Bennett Walls, Gulf War. Merlin Weibrick, father-in-law to Mrs. Nancy Weibrick and grandpa to Drake Weibrick, Vietnam. Leroy Weinhold, grandfather of Dylan, Katie, and Kyle Brake, Kylie Brake, Vietnam. Sterling Wells, father of Haley Wells, Afghanistan and war in Iraq. Lonnie Williams, grandfather of Jacob Brissett, war in Grenada. Marty Whitcock, Vietnam. Charles Woodard, grandfather of Abigail, Andrew, and Olivia Woodard, father of Mrs. Jessica Woodard and Matt Woodard, father-in-law to Mrs. Sheila Woodard. Marzen Bader, Korean War. Robert Schwartz, grandfather of Brooke Schwartz, Vietnam. John Vogt, grandfather of Kendra Vogt. George Caro, grandfather of Garrett Gallup, Army Berlin Crisis. Norman Gallup, father of Garrett Gallup, Gulf War. Francis Orini, grandfather of Fallon and Brianna Mitchell. Are there any other veterans or military persons present whose names were not called? James Zerwig, Peacetime Service, and father of Gavin, Ava, and Soraya. Lloyd Thompson, grandfather of Chase Thompson. Bob Seibel, Vietnam, grandfather to Connor. And I'm going to say one for those who can't be with us. My father, Jim Steiger, Grandfather to Sawyer Bowman and Blair Bowman. Father to Jamie Bowman. We have another one. 
another veteran. Shane Leach. Father to Sarah, Shania, and Sophie Leach. We would now like to recognize those men and women who have served our country but could not be here today or who are no longer with us. Stan Barker. Shane Bosler. Gervais Bosler, Jim Blue, Paul Brishley, August Brishley, Cameron Brown, Kyle Brown, Roy Butler, Roy Butler Jr., Andrew Camarillo, David Camden, Dennis Caudle. Everett Cavins, Michael Cockra, Brandon Cook, Harry Davis, Dr. Dale Derby, Don Diesel, Ken Diesel, Curtis Donaby, Jerry Edison, Gerald Elfrink, Bob Fallert, Wyatt Fleeg, John Gons, Ryan Hartz, William Hayes, Alan W. Heffel, Dirk Helms, Damian Helms, Sid Helms, Marvin Helms, Steve Hilbert, Louis Kimmel, Charles King, Tom Lang, Matthew Letty, Guy Luttrell, Gary McCord, Randall Macklin, Derek Meyer, Terry Monia, Edward Morris, Greg Mudd, Wilfred Nager, Emmanuel Nager, Andrew Noli, Missy Noli, William Norman, Rick O'Brien, Leroy O'Brien, Charles Powers, John Wright, Todd Wright, Charles Roth, Vernon Roth, James Samples, Tommy Schmelsley, Louis Schwent, Daniel Stoltzer, John Stoltzer, Joe Stoltzer, Benjamin Stoltzer, Clarence Stoltzer, Vince Stoltzer, Lloyd Thompson, Kyle Trapp, Keith Trapp Jr., Roseman Tucker, Benjamin Underreiner, David Volker, John Wainscott, Jr., John Wainscott, Sr., Richard Willemek, Steve Williams, Vernon Wisdom, Andrew Woodard, Robert Beckerman, Philip Cook, Brandon Dealschneider, Dave Grass, Sr., Ben Hibbett, Steve Hilbert, Eric Hoover, Urban Hook, Jerry Hook, Jonathan Langan, Shane Leach, Paul McClanahan, Dale T. Munier, Angela Pickard, Keith Pickard, Brian Ram, Brandy Weber, Vincent Weiler, Donald Wibbenmeyer.
Let's give a big round of applause to all of our military members and veterans. Students, thank you for your respectful attention. And at this time, the fifth graders are taking the stage for the white table ceremony. After the white table ceremony, there will be a moment of silence. And then the VFW winners will be presented their awards by Mrs. Sharon Giesler and Mrs. Lois Fleet. This table is set for those servicemen and women who are either missing in action or prisoners of war. Let us remember those men and women from all branches of service that are too often forgotten. The table is round to show our everlasting concern for our missing men and women. A white tablecloth is used to show purity to their intentions to respond to their country's call to duty. The white candle is here for our hope that peace will come. The Bible is for those who are missing, so that they might keep the faith. Remember. The vase with the red ribbon is for our continued determination to find them. A single rose reminds us of the family and friends who keep the faith while we wait for their return. stand for the bitter fate of those who are captured and missing in a foreign land. Remember. The 
The salt represents the family's tears. A black napkin is placed here for the sadness of captivity. Remember. <laughs> the cup is upside down because they cannot toast with us today. We will now extinguish the candle. Let it transfer its flame to our hearts so we will always remember. At this time, Sydney Olert, a 10th grader at St. Genevieve High School, will play taps. You may now take your seats. At this time, Mrs. Lois Fleek and Mrs. Sharon Giesler will present the drawing, writing, and coloring contest winners, their award and a certificate. So students, when you hear your name, come see Mrs. Fleek and Mrs. Giesler. Thank you, Mrs. Diesel. Uh, on behalf of the VFW Post 2210 and Auxiliary, I welcome all you veterans and all our guests and students. I am very excited about the behavior of the students. This is amazing. It's a long time to sit still, so good job, guys. Okay, the um, Auxiliary sponsored a coloring writing contest in the local schools, and we have some prize money for the winners. First place is $15, second place is $10, and third place is $5. So we have some great winners here. We're going to be starting with kindergarten. Our first place winner at kindergarten letter level sorry, is Camry Meyer. Where's Camry? Where's she? Second place goes to Blair Bowman. (laughs) 
And third place, Noah Kurtz. All right, moving on to first grade. Our first place winner is Ava Zerwig. Second place is Zaley Drymeyer. And third place goes to Cody Grass. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Cody Gross. Oh, Cody Gross. Sorry about that. Um, we moving on to second grade. We have Jalen the Plant in first place. First place, first, second grade. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank you. Second place, we have Garrett Gallup. <laughs> and third place, Allison Boyette. All right, third graders. Our first place winner is Chase Thompson. <laughs> Second place goes to Ivan Chen. And our third place winner is Fallon Mitchell. Okay, fourth graders, our first place winner is Taylin Plunk. Wow. Kennedy Buat is second place. And Sage Bader takes third place. Okay, and last but not least, our fifth graders. First grace, first place, sorry, Christy Chen. Brooke Schwartz has second place. And third place at fifth grade is Tessa Hager. All right, it was some wonderful writings and wonderful drawings. Um, if you have a chance, I think all of our guests can tour the elementary school and see the Hall of Honor and the rest of the artwork and writings. Um, they're, they did a wonderful job. And I just want to commend those who just did that white table ceremony. That was awesome. It was awesome. And I'd like to take a moment to thank Mrs. Giesler and Mrs. Fleeg. They do so much with the Ladies Auxiliary. They do many, many uh, selfless acts for our community and for our students, and they volunteer hours and hours of time. So thank you, ladies. At this time, the second grade classes under the direction of Mrs. Lacey Bowman will take the stage and perform your grand old flag.
second grade students, if you have a special guest here today that is going to be walking back to the elementary to visit the artwork or the writings, you may join them in their seats. So second grade special guests, would you raise your hand if you think you're gonna be going to the elementary so your, your student may come join you? Okay, boys and girls, do you see the hands up? If your guest has their hand up, you may dismiss from the risers and go down and meet them. You might need to stand. They're having a hard time with the bright lights. Okay, if you see your special guest standing, you may go join them now. The rest of the second grade students stay on the risers and you'll dismiss at the end of the program. They did a fabulous job. Let's give these guys another round. <laughs> and thank you, Mrs. Bowman, for another great performance. This concludes our Veterans Day tribute today. We'd like to thank the VFW Post 2210 Color Guard and the VFW Ladies Auxiliary. All veterans and military members, family and friends that were able to spend <clears throat> this time with us. You are models to our students and show us what patriotism is. Thanks to all of St. Genevieve Elementary. You know, I'm never going to get through this without crying. <laughs> every year I do it and every year I say I won't. So it's a special day for me. Thank you to all the St. Genevieve Elementary students, teachers, and staff for all the flexibility and contributions. It takes a lot for us to pull this day together, and we look forward to it every year. And people, people really rally and do all it takes to make it special. So thank you, staff. I'd really like to thank our Veterans Day Committee for their extra special touches, as well as the maintenance, custodians, and kitchen staff. Jason Bowman, Melissa Otto, Kathy Eisenbeis, Nancy Toombs, and all the people that helped us pull it together. At this time, the VFW Color Guard will conclude the program. Please rise. <clears throat> 